And welcome back to the castle, everybody. This is Nightsaber Z42. And in today's World 20 tutorial, it, we're still talking about um, creating your own tokens. But today we're going to go with the most simplistic way. Let's say that you don't have access to Photoshop. You don't want to download GIMP because it's a nightmare to use. Rather, like seriously, honestly. Um, and you'd rather just you know, do something in a web browser. So go to rolladvantage.com slash token stamp slash and you can basically just go to this website. It's very handy dandy. And um, let me pull up my, uh, my uh, pictures first. And um, let's say Klee Groot needs a new border. And so all you really gotta do is just um, go ahead and drag an image and there we go create a nice circle border um, we can drag the image and manipulate it we could even resize it um, hmm interesting well, let's give him a green maybe a darker green so this isn't going to be very extensive I don't really use this um, quite honestly. I'd rather just make my own and have full control over it. But if you don't have the resources to actually download GIMP or Photoshop, then this is definitely a uh, the way to go. Um, if you wanted to, um, we'll just leave the skill that. Um, the overlay cap capacity, yeah, it's a little in your face. Um, less is more. And the border opacity, we want that one to be seen. Um, basically, you just drop the image there, manipulate it. Um, you can give it all sorts of cool stuff. Um, I don't know why we would need text color because there isn't a way to add text. But then again, I could be like, I could be looking at it all wrong. So after you get your token the way that you want it, you just go ahead and click download and boom, now our token is saved as a PNG automatically, so it's gonna look exactly as it does here. And so when you put it into roll 20, the checkered border is basically going to be transparent because of that. Um, you can also reset everything, clear your workspace, and enable batch mode is pretty interesting. So let me get a couple of images ready to go. Let's see if I got, um, I'll pull three images. Okay. Start batch stamping. And it just kind of does it automatically. And it gives you, um, it just gives you some tokens like right away and you don't really have control over that. But I mean, you'd, it is, it is what it is. It's just batch super duper quick. Okay, let's go ahead and clear that. Um, disable batch mode. And oh, clear group went away. That's rather sad. Um, so basically, it's just to play around with it and experiment kind of deal. But I did want to bring this um, resource up because it is, it can be quite valuable. Um, if you don't want to mess around with Photoshop or GIMP. So, and it's also very quick. So there is that as well. So nice little quick five minute video on that. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, give this video a huge thumbs up to support the series and I will see you in the next video on creating your own token in GIMP, which I am kind of not looking forward to. <laughs> see you in the next video.